Hi guys, thanks for joining. We're in Berlin, the Big Rip headquarters, and they're showing off their new version of the Pro. And I think you caught that. That is actually one of the quickest resets I've seen on a 3D printer before. These machines have servo motors on all axes, Bosch Rexroth kinematics, which is a deviation from the standard stepper motors that most are aware of. You can see at the back the size of the Z axis. Well, that's the uh, it's the Y-axis motor, it's got a 90 degrees gearbox on there, um, pretty hefty, that's sort of the size we see on some of our CNC machines. They're printing a test part for an overhang in uh, a new material, and they're also testing out some of the systems for uh, bed leveling, so automatic mesh bed leveling and also offset calibration. As you can see, the size of the machine is it's not small. So we've got a cubic meter of build volume. Now let's go and have a look inside one of them. This is an older version, so it's got a different gantry system. Fully enclosed with uh, insulation all over the inside. And that means that you can do more engineering materials without having to worry about warpage. Uh, Web camera is standard feature, so you can actually follow what's going on with uh, the print as you go along. And we've got interlocks, so you can't actually open the machine when it's running, which is a bit of a pain sometimes when you're coming from an open uh, machine. But we've got filament sensors, obviously, at the back. Big, big addition is this guy. So, Big Rip, I've got a flex plate because trying to remove a one meter by one meter print you can imagine that there's quite a lot of stickness and which results into things like that when you come along with your blade to try and remove it all machines are dual extrusion and when the the one nozzle is not being used the other one is being retracted so you don't have the uh, parts knocking and that's the bed leveling innovation by big rep which is a ball uh, leveling sensor and that one is patent pending. You can see there's a bit of a difference between this version of the machine and the one that I've just shown you, which is the production model. But the speed at which they are able to print is absolutely phenomenal. Compared to the older machines, we've had cases whereby, even just on the slicing, we're able to get a 50% reduction in the print speed by using it on the Pro. And although there is a huge difference in price for the companies that are looking to print professionally and they've got the customers that are able to pay for the parts to come out perfect with the least amount of hassle there's really no beating the pro so do you want to be in this video <laughs> I'm just asking the technicians here if they want to be in the video. Brilliant. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you some of the other printed parts because they're all under NDA and, of course, you know, they're specific to um, each of the customers. But uh, I thank everyone for joining. If you have any questions, then please do ask. Oh, um, so the Pro also comes with heated filament chambers, so you can have. Uh, filaments at the back of the machine there and on that side there uh, and keep them away from the elements and if you're running things like nylons which are new materials that are going to be coming out it's quite important to have that, you see that. other machines that are in uh, the, the fleet are the new version of the one And this one is now fully enclosed, as you can see. It's um, pretty slick. And then, of course, the G2s and the old studios. Thanks for everybody that joined. I hope you got a little bit more of an overview of what the Pro actually has and how much innovation can actually be found in these machines with the. Uh, removable magnetic plate and also the servo motors etc etc etc
have any further questions, message us. Bye for now.